Hi, welcome to Free Spirit. So this is going to be another close-up review, and this time it's the Angels of Light Oracle Cards. She calls it Angels of Light Cards. It's from Diana Cooper. I recently got this deck, and I actually want to pull a lot of cards from this deck and get messages. So I'm going to show all the cards and do a close-up review, and at the very end, I'm going to pull a lot of cards from this deck. I just feel like there's a lot of messages in here right now. So um, I was actually guided to the deck to actually do a reading and I was like, let me do a close-up review first because I never show the deck and then I'll do the reading at the end. So stay tuned for that. The packaging, I really have to say I love it. It slides out like this, um, which is unusual for a pack of cards. I really like that. Um, it's not the magnet close, it's not the flip top box, it's the slide out and you have the cards here, and they're a nice size card, a little larger than a tower deck, um, an oracle size deck, not gilded, and it will have this beautiful angel on the back. And you'll find that image on the backs of every card. And you flip it over, they'll have two cards here in the beginning to show you how to kind of center yourself in one one instruction card, two instruction cards. So basically to tune in, meditate, get clear. It gives an example of a three card reading and always thank your angels and your guides for the messages that you receive. I always say thank you. So it's funny she put that in there. Um, always so grateful for the advice. But so again, the backs of the cards I really like. It's a very peaceful, angelic angel back here. Every card will have a different message. So there's abundance and it will give very clear thought well thought out a spiritual message and on the bottom it even has an affirmation i love that um affirmations on the bottom see the little angel back there affirmation i deserve love prosperity and success so for an example i'm not going to read everyone but say abundance well who doesn't want to hear the meaning of that and it will literally say it is time for your life to flow with prosperity love and success yes you draw from the limitless universal pool according to your belief in how much you deserve yes angel wisdom is reminding you now to believe in yourself and trust that you deserve more this is really funny this is the first card because in my readings recently it's all about self-worth stepping into your power releasing the past of the self-sabotage how we don't feel we deserve honestly deep down that we deserve all the love success and abundance and there's a new flow coming in here now and so i'm really excited this is the first card so anyway it's time for your life to flow with prosperity love and success you draw from the limitless universal pool according to your belief in how much you deserve angel wisdom is reminding you now to believe in yourself and trust that you deserve more then you will attract abundance and the true riches of life to feel surrounded by love open your heart to others choose to do what fulfills you most and the angels will bring you joy satisfaction and success enhance your prosperity by receiving graciously giving out willingly and saying thank you for everything. Enjoy all you have and more will come to you. And the affirmation is, I deserve love, prosperity, and success. And may everyone who's watching this video know that they deserve love, prosperity, and success. And as we feel that more will be showered on us. I love that message. Okay, so getting started, we have abundance and we'll all have similar messages in the affirmation. We have acceptance. We have acknowledgement. Yeah, I love that. The affirmation, I acknowledge who I truly am. Yes. Adventure. Aspiration. Beauty. Beginnings. We're having a lot of new beginnings now. I welcome and nurture the new in my life. Yes. Celebration. Choices. Clarity. Commitment. Communication. Cooperation creativity, curiosity, detachment, discernment, discipline, faith, flexibility. It really covers it all. Forgiveness, fun, generosity, gratitude, honesty, hope, imagination, introspection, joy, kindness, 
laughter, yes, light, let's do it, light, I am a light, yep, and this is angels of light cards, yep, mercy, opportunity, I'm ready for all opportunities, patience, positivity, power, yes, I am serene, powerful, and confident, I just like these direct messages, when you just want to drink and get a direct message, Purpose, self-worth, serenity, surrender is a big one, synchronicity, yep. All things happen in perfect timing, a lot of divine, perfect order and timing is happening now. Understanding, vulnerability, wisdom. Now we have the Archangels. We have Archangel Michael. He's going to say, I am strong and protected by Archangel Michael. And a whole message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Jophiel. I connect with my inner wisdom. Yep. Archangel Gabriel, I am pure and light. Yep. Archangel Raphael, I am happy, healthy, and abundant. Archangel Uriel, I am one with everyone in peace and serenity. Archangel Zadkiel, I am cleansed within the violet flame. Archangel Samuel, my heart is filled with the flame of love. Yeah, I wanted to know how many cards are in here, actually. Um, let's see how many cards. It's not really saying how many cards. Um, I'll figure that out and put it in the description box below how many cards. Unless it says it on one of these. Uh, I didn't really see it anywhere how many, how many cards are in this deck. Um, I'll count it and put it in the description box below. It's not really saying it anywhere. Okay, so let me get to the actual reading because this is why I wanted to do the close-up review was just to fast forward to get to the reading because there are definite messages in here for right now. And um, that's why I was called to this deck. So let's shuffle the cards. And for anyone who finds this video, what are the Angel of Light? The Angels of Light messages. For anyone who, who finds this video, Angels of Light. So I just want to really shuffle the cards here and um, infuse that intention into the cards. For anyone who finds this video, what was the reason why I was pulled to this deck? And what are the messages that should be shown at this time for anyone who finds this video? And the Angels of Light, and they're saying you're an Angel of Light. Let yourself feel like an Angel of Light yourself. And the Angels of Light are coming with their messages angels of light tapping into the angels of light for anyone who finds this video what are the messages i know there are tons of messages direct messages that we can just soak into our spirits and we need to tap into the angels of light tap into the angels of light rise up and tap into the angels of light These shuffle very well, by the way. They're easy to handle. They're not so large that you can't shuffle them. Oh, that's nice. Okay. What are the messages from the Angels of Light at this time for anyone who finds this video? What were the messages that wanted to be seen? Oh, yes. Okay. There are going to be a lot of messages I can, I can tell already. Let's see. The first one is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Yes. Look after yourself by acknowledging your desires and needs and taking steps to meet them. Examine and note your gifts, talents, and achievements. When you accept all aspects of yourself, you feel centered and confident. Then you can genuinely acknowledge others. Become aware of and nurture the good qualities of the people in your life so that they feel relaxed and happy in your presence. Angel wisdom reminds you to recognize who you truly are, an evolved spirit in a human body. When you acknowledge your spiritual dimensions, you will align with your true self and your spirit will soar. And the affirmation is, I acknowledge who I truly am. And I even think when flipping the cards during the review, I stopped on this card. I acknowledge who I truly am. We're all stepping into acknowledging our true selves and going forward more truthfully from our core. We've cleansed so much out. We're, it's really coming back and acknowledging your innate divine gifts, your innate divine talents. And it doesn't mean being conceited or tuning your own horn. It's just 
coming real back to yourself in a real divine, honest, truthful way and probably honoring yourself in ways that you didn't before. It's honoring your own truth, honoring your own desires, honoring your own divine needs, wants, desires, wishes, your truth, and stepping into that, almost embracing it. Um, yeah, and it's time really to recognize all you truly are and all that you, uh, it's, it's stepping more into that, the truth of who you are and acknowledging your innate special gifts because we all have innate special gifts. Literally, examine and note your gifts, your talents, and your achievements, and accept all aspects of yourself. When you do that, you're going to feel more centered, more confident, and then you can go forward and actually gain more success based on that and welcome other people also on a different level. So it helps everyone, but it's real acknowledgement for who you truly are coming from that place. So let's, ooh, did that want to come out? Oh, these are getting so specific. They're doing like flips and jiggles and flying back in the deck to get to the right one. Wow. The next card is beauty. Beauty, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe this first line. The outer world is a reflection of your inner. I just posted the weekly message for the first week, the second week of November from the 4th to the 11th was all about that we're a healed magician now, a healed manifester. And that's the new cycle. We're manifesting and being a magician in a more healed way. And so what we're doing now, what we're manifesting is going to be a so, so much better reflection back to us. Like all the seeds we're sowing coming from our truth, our core, as a healed self, planting divine um, things right now because we've released so much we're coming as a healed magician not just the magician not just a manifester but a more healed manifester and we got the card the magician and the mirror and when you're a healed magician and a mirror whatever you're putting out in the world is soon going to reflect so the outer world is a reflection of your inner so focus on the beauty within yourself your good qualities your kindnesses your gifts and your talents remember that whatever you give attention to increases and grows. Everyone has some beauty in their soul. So seek it in others, remind them of their qualities and you will illuminate them. Surround yourself with things and people with a beautiful vibration for we are all influenced by that which is around us. As you tune more and more into the incredible wonder of yourself, others and the planet, you hear the siren? Your resonance becomes that of beauty. There's a siren here. Others will perceive the radiance of your soul and be touched by it. And the affirmation is, I recognize my beauty and that of others. But the big call is to recognize your own beauty on a very deep level, quite honestly. And that is what is, is going to be reflected back because for a long time we didn't. Um, it's coming from new self-worth and a, a more self-honesty and self-worth. And um, definitely about surrounding yourself with things that are of high vibration. It's very important to keep having me um, post spirit messages about be careful about what's in your orbit. Um, feel and navigate energy. We want to be the most uplifted now all the time. More positive, uplifted. Um, yeah. But this is really beautiful. It's stepping into coming into your truth. Acknowledge your truth and your beauty. Your true beauty, divine beauty in all that you are. And when you honor that within yourself, you can honor it divinely in others on a much deeper sense than what we all talk about. You know, it's, um, it's, it's real, true, divine, and deep. We're all being shifted like this. Okay, what are the other messages? I love this reading so far. I knew there were a lot of messages. So let's see what are the other messages as we acknowledge ourselves, our beauty, our deep, divine beauty of our gifts, our talents, and all that we have to offer and are you ready for that it's clarity it's clarity in this that's coming in yes angel wisdom reminds you that a busy cluttered mind is a sick one and a still clear mind is a divine one allow the wisdom in your heart to radiate out and dissolve the chatter of your mind know that your angel has drawn this to your attention and is waiting to help you in your task 
Sit quietly so that you can find the stillness within. Then you can shine a pure, clear light onto every area of your life. In the clarity of this light, the angels will, will reveal a new way of being. This is the new cycle coming in. You will see things differently and be able to make decisions from strength and clarity. And the affirmation is, my mind is quiet, still, and clear. And I'm telling you, this whole divine cycle that keeps coming up in the weekly and monthly reading is that we cleared so much out. We're acknowledging our truth. What are our divine talents and gifts and what we're divinely all about we're seeing the beauty and the self-worth in ourselves we've released so much of the negativity old patterns self-sabotage old wounds to get back to just the core and it's huge clarity is coming in because we be, when you clean all that out you're a clear channel for the divine it comes in it comes out you're a divine channel of more clear love for yourself for others it's helping you it's helping everyone this is the new cycle and the transformation that's coming in here. We're all being pushed and supported by spirit to do this. So we're acknowledging ourselves as much as we acknowledge everybody else, because it's more easy to acknowledge everybody else around you. We're acknowledging ourselves and stepping into the truth of who we are all and accepting it all, like embracing ourselves, the beauty, the real divine beauty and clarity is coming in. And with this, we're manifesting new things in this new cycle. It's truly beautiful. What are the other messages? I feel like there's so many messages in here. These are beautiful cards underscoring what's happening. Our own little personal, private little transformations of what's happening here on an individual basis that everyone's feeling and shifting and transforming back to this to get clearer to be able to come back to the truth of who they are and act more divinely in their everyday. You know, as we clear out more gunk, you only act more divinely in your everyday. You're not as frustrated or held back personally. Um, it's all getting in tune. We're in tune divinely. We're all being highly tuned, clear, getting a clear, being a clearer channel, getting higher tuned. Okay, so let's see. What are the other messages? Ooh, angel of light. Surrender. Surrender to this. That's what we're all doing. Whatever you resist in life persists. Ask your angels to help you dissolve all the resistances of your ego, the inner conflict and struggle, the rigid mind sets and habits so that they can flood your life with higher truth and joy. Didn't I say this whole process is so that we can be a clearer channel, so we can go farther, lighter, more in line and in tune. When you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, all the energy you've been using in resistance becomes available to you. What did I say? When you release all that, you become a clearer channel. And vitality, inner peace, harmony, and most of all, love are your spiritual rewards. So flow with the pace of life. Relax and tune in. Then follow the guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels will support you at all times. And the affirmation is, I surrender to the flow of life. And the flow is this new flow, this new cycle that we're all going into. We're all surrendering this. I've been seeing it all in my videos recently. The divine is pushing and supporting us at the same time to surrender to this. Let go of all the old patterns, the old habits, the old judgments, especially about ourselves, what we're capable of, what we're all about. They're old stories. It's almost like the old you. You have to shed all that be a clear channel, continuously do that. Acknowledge the gifts that you have. Acknowledge the talents that you have. Acknowledge how you made it this far. Your strength, your capabilities, your resilience, your creativity, your passions. And once we clear out all the cook, it's such a more divine flow of that and recognizing your own beauty. And there's such clarity. And you're surrendering to this divine flow that's doing all this. It's like clearing out the pipes. <laughs> you know, so we're a more divine channel. Should we get more? One more? I feel like they want one. Oh, jeez. This is why I was called to this deck and why I did that. Ooh. Nope. They're getting so specific. Okay. Here we go. You can't make this up. What is it all about? Light. Light. Yes, light. Light illuminates darkness and gloom, bringing hope and inspiration. Ask the angels to fill you with more light, for it contains spiritual information and knowledge. These are keys to the universe and bring love and peace, as well as unlocking the wisdom within you. 
as your light becomes stronger and clearer, you will find clarity and purpose. You will radiate brightly and become a beacon, reminding others of the divine help available. Angel wisdom suggests suggests you ask the angels to ignite and strengthen the divine flame within you. And the affirmation is, I am light. This is why we're doing this. I am light. You are light. You are light. Who's watching this video? You are light. Like I started saying, these are the angels of light cards. And I even said out loud, you're the angel of light as well. Light is illuminating the darkness within us. We're cleansing out to be more filled with light, to be a more divine channel. I literally posted a video about the keys to the universe. And there was a secret key that we were being handed now. And I posted a whole video about that about this new wisdom coming in of how we utilize energy and become a clearer channel. And as your light becomes stronger and clearer, you will find the clarity and your purpose. You're acknowledging your purpose. You're finding your divine purpose. And it's much coming in much stronger and clearer. If you saw my 2020 um, reading on my channel, I literally said the year 2020 is gonna be like 2020 vision, where you're gonna be seeing everything much more clearly. It's like new lights came on all of a sudden. Um, we're all being shifted, supported to go and be clearer and more on our divine purpose and releasing so much of the past. And you will radiate brightly and become a beacon, reminding others of the divine help available. And angel wisdom suggests you ask the angels to ignite and strengthen the divine flame within you and you are light. This is why surrender to this whole journey this whole transformation this whole new cycle it's so beautiful i'm so glad i did this reading this is that that was the message that wanted to come through why i did this close-up review now at this time i was doing this is the backs of the cards and this has been the angels of light oracle cards from diana pooper and that was an amazing reading oh my gosh all right, so have a great day and check out my channel for other close-up reviews, other readings, all that good stuff. Take care. Bye-bye.